Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Frank Sid, the Binary Archivist. And I mainly call myself that because I save everything. From I have files and programs that I've written from the 80s and the 90s. And today we're going to share with you, we're going to go back in history a little bit and we're going to do some basics of C++. So we're going to do a basic program in C++ that's just going to simply ask what your name is. It's going to take input of your name and then it's going to say hello how are you so I like to do a little bit different than the standard hello world programs and make it a little more exciting so let's get to it here I'm going to load up my Oracle virtual box and get DOS going here so we're loading up MS DOS kind of feel like I'm in the 80s here I use DOS because I have Orlin Turbo C, which I've used, which I've had for a very long time. Another thing that I've archived, so I I can I use that, but you can use any, you know, Turbo C IDE you want through Windows, DOS, you know, whatever suits your fancy. But today, let's get back into the Turbo C here, and I've already created a blank, hitting Alt F here, and I've created a blank lesson. So we're going to start with some include files. So in order for C, the com certain commands that you use, you need certain H files. Now the H files are basically going to contain functions and definitions for the commands in, in C that you're using. So what I'll do is I'll put some include statements in here and then as we write the program I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove a, uh, one of the H files, comment it out, and then we can see what exactly happens if you don't use, if you specify a, a or a command that it doesn't understand what it is because you didn't specify the H file. So the first thing we're going to include here is stdio.h. And the second thing we're going to include here is conio.h okay now what we're gonna do is because we need to take name we wanna take a name as a variable so we can get the user's input so we need to store that name somewhere so we can call this anything we want but for common sense pur purposes we're just gonna call it name so we're gonna create a character name and we're just gonna allocate 10 characters for the name that should be enough we're just gonna do the first name I don't know whose first name is 10 characters long but we'll do 10 to be safe and now we're gonna start our main area here with our opening bracket now you're gonna notice and see if you skip adding this uh, semicolon here it's gonna cause all kind of problems for you it's kinda of like doing um, when you get into the call ball and you miss putting a, a period in there um, kind of the same concept so you want to make sure you you use that but there's only certain places you're going to use that but you'll see you'll see the structure as I continue to go here so first let's do a simple let's do a printf statement and the printf statement we're going to put some new line characters before it. And what's that going to do? It's going to create a couple blank lines before it starts asking what is your name, before it prints it out. So we're going to do that. We're going to put a couple new line characters and then we're going to say what is your name. And then what we're going to do is put another new line afterwards. That way it has a space. It'll jump to the next line. And that, what, what I'll do is remove some of these things afterwards and you'll see what kind of effect it has on the program so now we're going to use a scanf function what the scanf is going to do is it's actually the part of the program that's going to sit there and wait for input from the user so they can type their name in so we're going to do a scanf statement and we're going to use the percent %s which is basically a string so it's going to put the string value there but we have to tell it where we're getting that value from so we're going to put it in. We're going to put in name here. 
because that's where it's coming from. It's a variable name that we created up here. Okay. So let's press enter here. And now I'm going to do a printf statement. And I'm just going to say hello. Percent %s. How are you? And I'm going to put some closing quotes there. And of course my bracket and then my semicolon. Now we're, we are missing something here because if we just put this hello percent %s it's not going to print the name because we're missing something. What we're missing here is we have to put a comma and name after it. Okay, that's going to put your name in there. And then we're going to return zero. Now let's just see if we've made any errors here. I'm going to save my program. I'm going to do an Alt C and I'm going to compile make, link, build. I'm going to choose make. And it says I have no errors, so that's that's a good thing. And we're going to exit out here. And I'm going to go to my uh, Turbo C folder. And all of my compiled programs will end up in the compiled folder. And there's our lesson one file. So we're going to run lesson one and see what happens. So it's going to ask me what my name is. So let me type in Frank. Hello, Frank. How are you? So that's your basic kind of print and then an input function. So how do we clean this up a little bit? Maybe we want to clear the screen, right? Maybe we want to have a nice header up on top of the screen or maybe we don't want anything at all but we definitely want to clear the screen off so let's go back into the Turbo C and what we're simply going to add here is a CLR SCR and we'll save it we'll make it again then we'll exit out and let's run that lesson one again See, now you see that it's cleared the screen, which makes it much neater. Type in the name. Hello, Frank. How are you? So let's go back in here. Now, what happens if you don't have, if you didn't include the correct H file for the function that you're trying to use? Well, I'm going to comment one of these out, and let's take a look at the error that you're going to get. And we're going to save it, and I'm going to compile it. So we do have an error here, so let's take a look at it. Function clear screen should have a prototype. So that's the kind of error that you're going to get if you specify a command, but you didn't specify the H file. You didn't include the, the correct H file that contains that command. So let's go back up here and let's do this other one and see what happens. Let's see what commands that we have in this program that are related to the stdioh file. So we'll save that again. I'm going to compile it. So we have two errors now. So both the printf and the scanf functions require the stdio.h, which I've commented out so they're not being interpreted. So let's go back up here and put that back here. We'll save it, make it there, lesson one, and go back in there. So that's your basic, really basic C program to where we are clearing the screen, we're printing at the top, what is your name? We're taking input and we're going to take what that person types and we're going to store it in the variable name which we've defined up here which is 10 characters long and then we're just going to print hello in the name which is here and we're going to return a value of zero so that's your basic 
C program. Now, let's do an example of where we take out these new line characters up here. And let's see what happens. Let's take these new line characters out. We'll save it. We'll make it again. Exit out, and we're going to type less than one. And then I'll type my name, Frank. Hello, Frank, how are you? So you see what happened. It didn't put any spaces. It's kind of uh, bound up at the top of the screen there, if you will. Uh, so by putting those new line characters, you're, you're adding a few lines before you start using your print statement. It's just much neater. So if I, I could add more to this, All right, that would give me like four, four lines, and then we'll add a couple lines here, and let's see what the difference is. We're going to compile it, exit out, we're going to run our lesson one. Now do you see the amount of space that's up at the top of the screen? But it's also after what is your name, it's, it's given me four lines. Now typically I wouldn't do that. Uh, it's kind of it's too far away from it and it looks sloppy but for this example I just wanted to show you what the the slash n would do so then I'll type my name in hello Frank how are you so that's our basic C program um, I, I hope you enjoyed watching the video I'm, I'm gonna make much more of these um, I, I always try to give people some words of encouragement is you know everyone has to start somewhere and even if you were doing programming 20 years ago you know things are gonna be a little bit rusty later on but it's all gonna come back to you you never lose the knowledge that you have but the important thing is that you don't give up you start off simple you know build your way up you know save little code snippets that you have of your programs you can use them in other places you know you could even have a blank a uh, project file that already has the include statements. There's no need to keep typing these, although it's going to vary depending on what functions you, you're wanting to use with your program. And there's so many that you can include into your C programs. Um, but enjoy yourself. This is the Binary Archivist, and we'll see you again with some more C++ programming. And thanks for watching my channel.